Hi everyone, welcome back to Pity Something Budgets. I hope you've all been enjoying this lovely weather that we uh, have had this week. It's funny, I was talking last week about how much I love autumn and what have you, and the change of the leaves and everything, and then uh, we have a little heat wave. So <laughs> that was uh, quite a surprise, um, but it's it has been nice. It's been a bit hot for the dog though, I have to say. So in today's video, I'm just going to take you through a review of a very spendy uh, first week of September. Um, so as you can see, my budget sheet here is very busy because um, there's a lot been going on. I mean, we always pay a lot of our bills and a lot of our sinking funds in the first week of the month. But um, there is not very much money left at the end of this week for the rest of the month, which is a bit scary. Okay, so let me just zoom this in so you can see the actual figures on there. Okay, so we rolled over uh, £138.91 from the end of August. And then our two salaries went in, which was £5,665.29. And then I had £16.41 of other income come in. Um, and this was the interest that I earned from Chase, which uh, was amazing. Um, it was, <laughs> I'm not used to having savings that actually accrue that amount of interest. So I was very pleased about that. And then I used £384 from sinking funds um, to cover planned expenses. So the total of income was £6,204.61. Then, as you can see, very busy bill section here. Um, so most of our utilities... Uh, come out most of our fixed expenses things like your gas and electric so anything that's grey is fixed expenses so we've got mortgage council tax our mobile phone bills which we count as um fixed expense um or utility rather um octopus which is our new gas and electricity payment it's gone up our water rates our tv license and my husband's mobile so the grey ones um were all as expected and then this darker green here is insurance. So that's our two life insurance policies and our two accident and sickness. And then the lighter yellow are subscriptions. So we had the gym come out, Apple storage. But these two haven't come out, which was my Tesco's delivery and my Now TV. Um, and I'm recording this on Friday and they're both due to come out over the weekend. Um, or I think Tesco's will come out next week. Now TV uh, is a card payment that's going to come out over the weekend. And then the two orange ones there um, are for the pet, uh, is our for our dog. So that's his um, vet insurance and his vet plan. Um, and then the green one there is my son's um, pocket money. So all of our direct debits, all those bills that came out, came to 3,137.33, which is a bit less than expected because those two didn't come out and our gym was less. Um, and so we've got left over 3,067.28. Okay, then we use some of our sinking funds. We used 16 pounds was in haircuts. 21.70 was back to school, um, which was on stationery for my son. Um, 47.97 was on my um, protein. So I actually got two, two and a half kilo bags of gluten-free oats from my protein and... Um, a bag of protein as well, also gluten-free. So I suppose the oats should be counted as food, um, but I've just put them in as health. And then Christmas. So it's barely yet, we're out of August, and I've spent £120.19 on Christmas. Now my husband has been after a pair of Gucci trainers for, for months. It's, it's some of these wanted, but they are so expensive brand. They're, they're over 500 quid. And he managed to get a pair hardly worn in his half size for um 110 pound i think it was on vinted and then the rest is sort of the fees and the protection and whatnot because if you're just going to pay for them i like, no, that's not how vinted works you've got to make the guy an offer so he made him an offer and the guy accepted it i think he had about six offers but he accepted my husband's um he hasn't posted them yet though which is a bit concerning um and then i've got home maintenance down here which was 89 72 so i finally ordered two new strip light things for the kitchen um because i have to get them from a specialist light company because there are the thin strip lights but they are a certain color and a certain length they're not like standard um 
and we decided to go for LED ones and goodness me, can you tell the difference? Um, so we had one of the, it, it's like a, a, a modern light fitting which has got two thin strips in it and one of them was working and I took the other one out to uh, the dead one to check what I needed to order um, and I put it back in and I said to my husband, oh, it's not working, I've done something and he fiddled with it and then the both came on <laughs> but I'd already ordered them by then. Um, so we've taken those two out as spares and we have put uh, the new LED ones in and my God, they're so bright, it's unbelievable. And they're like daylight ones. Um, so it's just like you're in a, you're outside really, it's lovely. So, uh, and I also bought a new duvet for my son um, and a sheet as well, because we're having a bit of a change around in his room. So total out of sinking funds was 295.58. So it's less than what I brought in from savings used because there is the um, £50 that we've used for, that was August's planner challenge money came in as well. Um, and then there was some other money which was for the rest of the back to school was in there as well. Okay, um, so that left us £2,771.70. Um, the payment to our debt management plan came out the 70, it was, I've actually paid £75 and it was 74 What a dafty to our credit card because that was just when I'd bought that school uniform um, because it was taking them that long to process the refund and I've just paid that off in full. There's nothing going on there now. And then HMRC um, took another direct debit out and I hadn't managed to cancel it in time even though I'd paid it all off. So when I went on to check what, why they'd done that and to reclaim the money, I owed them a penny. So they're taking 84, 42, and he owed them one P. Um, so I've requested the money back today. So it, so I paid it on the first and it's taken until today um, for it to actually show on my account. Um, and then they say it's been two to four weeks to come back, which is gonna make our budget a little bit tight. So there's 329.42 paid debt payments. Um, and then there was, that left us 2,442.28. So quite a bit went into sinking funds um, this week. So £175 went into annual. Um, and I'm going to have to check because I can't remember what it is I've put in. Okay, so um, that was 120 into, um, no, it was 110 into home maintenance and 65 went into back to school then the 116.41 went into our emergency fund so i put the 16.41 of interest and the 100 pounds worth that i normally put in um, all into the emergency fund and that was great because it meant that i could tick off another 20 quid on my emergency fund because i had just over the 4200 so I was able to cross off another 20 quid on there, which was good. So anything that I earn in chase on interest from my sinking funds is going to go into our emergency fund. Um, now, I did make a boob um, that I was supposed to put uh, £377 into our um, Italy fund. And I put the wrong amount in. <laughs> I put 477 in. Um, so I did get a bit confused with myself. So that's what I've used the um, September's, no, August's planner challenge money is to go towards that. So if I need to take that out, then I will, but I've made a boob, so it's in there. Um, and then variable was 150, um, which is more than I'd planned, but that was because I've taken what is our entertainment budget and actually classed it as a variable expense. Because I'd take the money out of the budget, but then I was class, sort of classing it still as an envelope. So um, that's what the difference is. So that was £30 of health, no, £30 of pet, £70 to health and £50 to entertainment. And then birthdays and occasions was £70, which was uh, my son's birthday and my husband's birthday. So a massive £988.41, if you can see that on there, £988.41 went into sinking funds which left me 1,453.87. Um, and this week, we seem to have absolutely lost the plot with our food spending. 
um, we've spent over a hundred pounds more than we budgeted for. Now I did think it was going to be a little bit higher, and I maybe should have upped the budget to begin with because we had we spent a lot on um, household items and condiments and things like that that you, you know you don't get every week. Um, and I've got quite a bit of chicken left. My husband's had a couple of lunches at work, but to be honest, that is just it's ridiculous. Um, and it's just going to put our budget under pressure for the rest of the month. Plus, on Monday, we are starting this um, eight-week transformation that our trainer's doing. Um, so we we are cutting out a lot of things that we, you know, snacks and processed food and pizza and beer and anything like that. Um, but we may have to buy some items that are a little bit more expensive. You know, I bought some pine nuts for my husband because he can't eat tree nuts. But he's all right with pine nuts. Um, and they were like four quid for a little packet. Um, so, and I might be buying some salmon and, and what have you. So there might be just, I think this week I've ordered diced pork, turkey mince, salmon fillets for my husband's son. Um, and it's, yeah. So we just need to keep, get back on track with that. Because um, I haven't really managed that budget this week. And it has just gone crazy um nothing on ev because that now comes out of our monthly gas and electric bill school was 21 pound 10 um that was school meals and bus fare uh, miscellaneous was six pound 25 so i spent one pound 25 on something i can't remember what it was what did i spend one pound 25 on um one pound 25 was on something i'm sure it was when i was at tesco's and i can't remember what it was um, no, I still can't remember what it was. It just says Tesco's. Um, so 125 in Tesco's. And then um, the other fiver is I've put a fiver somewhere and I can't find it. I think I've put it in one of my envelopes um, and it's got misplaced. So I've just put it under miscellaneous. And then entertainment was 5 95 My husband and I had a, um, a coffee while we were waiting for our son's hair to be cut last weekend. And then spending was 169 or three so it looks like we're over but actually we did use some of the um it was some of my spending money i brought back into the budget up here um so that was a hundred and hundred pound to my husband and then 69 pound and three was my spending so that was a total of 432.31 which left us a thousand and twenty one fifty six um so we put £10 in our planner challenge, which is the one that's in this planner, £20 into autumn, £40 into 2023, £10 in mini Christmas, and then I've got £4.57 in my purse, um, which is to go across tropical and PAMI challenges, which I'll do in a minute. So that's £84.57 to challenges this week, which leaves me a very low scary number of 936.99 to cover the next three weeks i don't think i feel so bad if um i had that 85 pound backing from the hmrc because at least it begin with it would be a thousand so i wouldn't be that far out from um where i was but um if worse comes to the worst then i will um take that extra money that i put into holiday back out and use that as well um, but hopefully we will be fine um, because we are not consuming alcohol for, well, I don't really drink anyway. And there's plenty of wine in our house if I was really wanting to drink. Um, but my husband won't be drinking any beer. We won't be spending anything on snacks. I've got to plan our food to stick to this um, eight week program that we're doing. I'm not doing the trainer's program. I find it too restrictive for somebody who's already on quite a restricted diet. And it's just a list of foods you can have each week that changes. Um, and so you have to create everything yourself. And I thought, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to sort of calorie count, go really clean um, and remove the non-essentials from my diet. Um, so, yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to it. So, but there'll be, it means there'll be less, um, I might need to do a top-up shop, but there'll be less sort of nipping in and getting things I shouldn't. Okay, so I'll just deal with this. 457 that I've got and then I'll take you through next week's budget which is a lot quieter on the budget front right that's a bit better I was a bit close then I had looked like I had massive hands so let's get the money out of here get rid of my trolley token 
So I should have £4.57, two, three, four, fifty, two, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so three pound is going in tropical and the rest is going in a very dusty Pammy Penny Pot. Okay, so when she comes to life, come on, Pammy. There we are. Woohoo, we're over 40 quid. I think that I am just going to keep Pammy going until she's full. Wonder well, how many years it'll take me to fill Pammy um, since it's September and she's on £42.07. Okay, so there's that one. And then, oh, tropical, 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 where are you? Um, she's not, I haven't got my planner here. Not my planner i haven't got my binder and my pen so two seconds yeah i'm not very really organized today okay so i've got three pound so we will do this one here i'm breaking my run of doing like the next one or the one along there's a nice big gap there now so we'll put three pound into this tin there we are right so that's week one done and dusted so let's have a look and just have a quick look and see what's happening in week two. You see, I've got my sheet there all ready to cash stuff. Okay, so that's not the right sheet. That's the right sheet. There we go. So I'm rolling over that 937. I've got my child benefit coming in, um, but I'm not expecting any other income. Um, I don't think my expenses come through until next week. And then I've got the mo my mobile going out. Um... I've got the Tesco's delivery going out at eight pound and then I've got now TV going out. Okay, so that's 35 pounds worth of expenses. Leaves me 998 pound. Um, not expecting to use any sinking funds and I've got nothing going out today this week because that's all been done. Not much going into sinking funds. Um, I've got 20 pound, which is going into subscriptions, um, which is a new sinking fund. I've had the envelope for about a year. Um, but I'm actually starting that sinking fund this month. Um, then midterm is um, where I put all our trips and travel expenses. So I'm putting £50 into half term for when we're in October. And then there's £20 going into my birthday. So that is £90 to sinking funds, leaving me 908 Um I've upped our food budget a bit this week to £160. Um, I think that's more doable with... Um, the small shop that I've already done, the Tesco's delivery I've got, and then leaving us a bit for um, fresh vegetables and salad and stuff during the week. Miscellaneous is its usual fiver. Um, I'm putting £25 into schools. So that's £15 for meals and £10 for bus fare, uh, just to last the next couple of weeks. Um, and then eating out and fun, which is actually entertainment, I'm putting £20 in. And then my spending is getting £20 because I like my spending money spread through the month um, and my husband just likes his in one chunk. So that's £230 going to um, those cash envelope expenses, leaving me £678. Now, the fun and entertainment bit is if you remember when I did my budget with me, I said we were going to book a paddleboard lesson on the sea at the end of September. Well, my husband went to a different beach this morning for an early morning dip in the sea. Yes, I know he's mad. Um, and they do paddleboard in there. So we've actually booked it for Saturday morning. So we're not going to have a lesson. We're just going to go and do an hour's paddleboarding. I uh, haven't been able to convince my son to go or to even take his kayak and come with us. Um, so it's just me and my husband going for an hour. But that's worked out a lot cheaper. I think that's going to be, we'll hire a wetsuit for my husband but I've already got a shorty. Um, it is an Aussie. You do need a wetsuit. Um, yeah, so two hire two paddle boards for an hour and a wetsuit is 45 quid, which is half the price of what we're going to pay for that lesson. So that's what that one is. Um, so yeah, so on six, seven, eight, and then I'm putting 20 pounds in the planner, 20 pounds in autumn, another 40 pounds in 2023, because I'm determined to finish that one this month. And then mini Christmas is getting a tenner. So that's 90 pounds in two um, challenges leaves me £588, um, which is really, really low for where we are in the month. So we will just see how we get on.
Um, hopefully, I will have some other income coming in. Uh, it won't be much, but there should be a little bit in there. And then hopefully that HMRC will come back um, before the end of the month, which would really, really help. OK, so there we are. That's our um, budget all tied up for the first week of September and then planned for the second week of September. Um, I will be back shortly with my cash stuffing um, and I've already recorded um, part one of my um, emergency fund sort of calculation video that I keep saying I'm going to do. Uh, it was going to be one video, but I've actually split it into two because I don't want it to be too long for you. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you so much for watching if you've got this far and I shall be back soon with my cash stuffing. Bye.